made by the Fender Company in Fullerton, California. And this was there. This was their student model. This sold for $49 in 1954. And it was their bottom of the line steel guitar, but it sounds pretty good. And the reason it's called the steel guitar is you play with a little bar. And you get those sounds, SpongeBob sounds. You get that. So um, I'm going to play you a song that was a number one hit in Honolulu in 1917, I think it was. And uh, the song's called Hula Blues. And it was played on the steel guitar in 1917. And this is an electric steel guitar. Back then, they didn't have electric steel guitars. They had steam powered. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is a song uh, called Hula Blues. And one of the first songs I learned, and it, it, when I started playing the steel guitar in 1998, I was getting sounds like this. Because the way it works is you slide the bar across the strings. You couldn't push down these strings if you wanted to. So I would get these kind of sounds. <laughs> and uh, it makes you think of a blue lagoon, doesn't it? <laughs> so my family, I mean, I'm, I'm amazed that they didn't kill me when I was learning how to play this instrument. Uh, I, I played it for a couple of years and I called my wife downstairs to my music studio and I said, you gotta, you gotta level with me. Am I getting any better on this thing? <laughs> and she said, yeah, you're not making me as seasick as you used to. <laughs> okay, hula blues. Tuning is important. 